Hey homeowners, I hope you're having an inspiring day. I am Chris, one of the new TV hosts for MF Home TV. Welcome to another episode, but before you start, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon below so you won't miss every time we have a new video. Although it's not new to the business anymore, working from home has been the number one option for a lot of us lately due to the crisis that we are dealing and we can't afford to lose a job or not to have at all. So maybe you've scratched your head countless times thinking how you can pull off a decent office home setup with not much space to work on. This video will show you how you can revamp your space in your living room into a home office living room. This is also for those people who can't work without the noise of the TV. Kind of weird, but yes, they exist. Comment down below if you can relate. Or maybe setting up in your bedroom is, hmm, tempting. Lesser chance of being productive? Ha, we got you. Okay, let's get into it. First off is the back-to-back -back layout. You can take advantage of the space at the back of your sofa. Literally a back-to-back -back setup where your desk is almost touching the back of your sofa. Here we are using Argent Desk in Black Oak. Its height is a perfect match to our Diego sofa. It looks clean and sturdy and thanks to its not-so-obvious drawers, the place to hide your clutter. If you're a working mom or dad who needs to catch up with your family movie night with your work report at the same time, this is the perfect layout for you since your desk is facing directly to the TV. Next, we are just moving what we have set up previously away from the sofa to utilize the space behind more. This is to detach a little from the focal point of the room. If you got enough space between the side of your sofa and the wall, lift those office furniture we are placing them there. If you have a small cabinet on this side already like our Ricola Low cabinet right here, you can just place your desk right next to it for continuity. You can use the cabinet as a storage for your office supplies to avoid overcrowding the space. Make sure the traffic flow is not interrupted to avoid awkwardness to the look and of course, accidents. If you want a spot where you're kind of away from the temptation of entertainment, remove that side table right next to your sofa and ready your home office furniture. Here, we are placing our Tammy desk very close to the corner wall so you're not within the focal point of the room where you can view the TV and couch. Since you're facing the wall, this will give you a little privacy. You can use the side table we evicted earlier as an extra space for your office supplies. For our last layout, this idea is kind of underrated but it works especially if you're running out of space already. You can set up your home office right beside your TV rack. Try to balance your home office furniture and other accessories you're using with the things you already have in your living room, so nothing gets overpowered. That being said, we are only using Tammy Desk and Luxembourg Chair. And a few accessories placed on our Kylo wall shelves. Since we are placing them within the focal point of the room, it's good that they are in neutral colors, so they don't really break the wholeness of the room, because they blend all together.
All right, what do you think? Personally, I like the back-to-back -back setup. I hope this will help you with your work from home setup dilemma. But please don't limit your creativity, have fun, and explore more. Please give this video a thumbs up, share, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next episode. This is Chris, Inspiring Your Home. This week's prize.